After a day of transporting medical frontliners in Caloocan, bus driver Agacon Cabrera is now going back to the Jackliner terminal to try to collect a month's worth of salary. According to Cabrera, the bus company still owes him about 100,000 pesos, which he says is from the LTFRB commissioned free rides program for healthcare workers from March to June. Cabrera's route was from Monumento in Caloocan to Pitex in Paranaque. He says the company claims that LTFRB still hasn't paid them for their service. Tinatanong namin kung tungkol sa sahod, eh ang sabi nila, wala pang dumating sa kanilang uh, papel galing sa LTFRB. Kasi kung meron daw dadating sa, sa kanila na galing sa LTFRB, yun pa daw ang pagsahod sa, sa amin. Bus driver Walter Lalaka, who has been ferrying healthcare workers from Farmers Cubao to the Philippine General Hospital in Manila, is in the same boat. According to him, the bus company still hasn't given him his salary despite their promises. Ang total ko po rito is mga nasa 140,000 pa, mga ganyan pa. Sabi nila, lingguhan para hindi mabigat ang pasahod. Hanggang sa naipon ng naipon, at ngayon po nung naipon na, parang ayaw na nilang bitawan. Currently, around 60 drivers are calling for help from the LTFRB for their unpaid salaries. They say that they risk their lives during lockdown to ferry healthcare workers to and from hospitals. Eh, sir, nasa panganib din yung buhay namin noon kasi siyempre yung panahon ng pandemic, kasagsaga ng pan, ano, COVID eh. They are also not convinced that the LTFRB has yet to pay Jack Liner since they say, according to LTFRB, they had already paid the company. News 5 sought comment from the bus company but none of its representatives agreed to go on record. Aryan Kalumbiran, We are One News.